by a shortage of highly trained air traffic controllers. Is it a sign of more trouble ahead for Labor Day and beyond? Here's Tom Costello. In the nation's busiest airspace late Monday, delays and building frustration. It's not just tonight. It's been going on for a long time. The problem, too many controllers out sick. The FAA says it was an isolated case, not organized, but it comes as a summer of travel trouble winds down. Since Memorial Day weekend, FlightAware reports 23% of U.S. flights have been delayed an average of 52 minutes. 2.3% of flights canceled amid violent weather and a national pilot shortage. The FAA blamed the airlines for most of the issues earlier this summer, and the cancellation rate improved once airlines began cutting flights they'd overscheduled. While there are fewer uh, what we call blue sky delays, fewer cases where the weather's fine, everything looks fine, and the airlines still can't make it happen. Going into Labor Day, airfares are up 23% over last year, with nearly every airline trimming their schedules this fall and winter to avoid a repeat of the summer meltdowns. Though American's Pilots Union, in contract talks, warns it may not be enough. We are very concerned about the upcoming uh, winter holiday season, and we're already looking at next summer. The good news, volatile summer weather usually tapers off in late August. The Department of Transportation has just proposed new rules that would require airlines to refund passengers' money if their flight is changed, canceled, or delayed by more than three hours. Luster? All right, Tom Costello, thanks. Tonight